In this video, we're gonna learn how to take this photo of LeBron and turn it into this. First thing I did was change the background's color. So I went into uh, the camera raw filter and I turned up the greens in the photo so the greens pop out a little bit more. And I also adjusted the clarity to make it a little bit more clear as well as the textures. After I inputted the picture of LeBron and I masked them out, I wanted to change the jersey color. So I went to the hue and saturation and I turned down the hue and saturation so it gave me this greenish look on the yellow jersey. The next thing I did was change the color of the wristbands as well as his arm sleeves and socks. They were white in the original picture but the whites really didn't fit into the picture that I was trying to get so I changed them to black. There were a couple lights in the background that were too light for me so I changed the levels on those so they're a little bit darker. The next thing I did was add a glow as well as stroke to LeBron so that he fits in a little bit better with the overall piece. I then thought the outsides of the picture were a little bit too light and I wanted the main focus to be on LeBron so I took my paintbrush and I made the outer edges darker. The next thing I did was add the lighting to LeBron. So you can see in the background the main light source is uh, like a white light. So I wanted to add that light onto LeBron's arm, uh, as you can see on the right side, as well as the bottoms of his legs. So it looks like that light is reflecting from behind him. I also did some adjustments to the outside of LeBron, uh, just darkening the outside of his arms as well as the top of his head. After doing some color correcting, I added an overlay that I thought looked really cool, and this is the final result.